In general, given a vector space, showing that a set is a basis is hard in the sense that being a basis requires two different properties to be satisfied. And you have to show that both those properties are satisfied. However, if you know that you have the correct number of vectors, it's easier. Suppose that V is an n-dimensional vector space. Then any set of n linearly independent vectors is a basis. Any n-vector spanning set is a basis. In this situation, where you have the correct number of vectors, being linearly independent makes you a spanning set, and being a spanning set makes you linearly independent. And the proof of this theorem is fairly straightforward. Let's go with one. Let's just do these in order. Let B be linearly independent. By way of contradiction, suppose B is not a basis. Well, B is a linearly independent um, set. By a previous theorem, add vectors to be until it is a basis. And now we instantly run into a contradiction. This new basis has more than n vectors. So this supposition that B is not a basis must have been a false supposition. B is a basis. Let's now prove the second statement. Our proof starts similarly. We're going to suppose that the spanning set is not a basis and produce a contradiction. B spans V. So if it's not a basis, that can only mean B is linearly dependent. Citing some previous theorems, if B is linearly dependent, that means some vectors in B are linear combinations of other vectors vectors in B. And a previous theorem says that if you get rid of these linear combinations, we don't change the span. After we've gotten rid 
of every vector in B that is a linear combination of other vectors in B. Well, we haven't changed the span. And now we're linearly independent. So this smaller set is a basis. And we run into the same problem we ran to up here, that we now have a basis with the wrong number of vectors. Up here, our new basis had more than n vectors. Here, our new basis has fewer than n vectors. In any event, this is a contradiction. Every basis has to have exactly n vectors. So this supposition we made by way of contradiction must in fact be false. B is a basis. Oops, didn't mean to do that. 